In this video we'll take a look at how you can use arguments in a page layout component and uh, also a tabbed UI component. So you can see here we have a very simple uh, page layout component that has a grid component and a report inside a tabbed object and uh, if we uh, view it in the browser you'll see there's the, uh, uh, the grid object over there and then the report um, is uh, is uh, in the uh, report tab of the tabbed object and uh, what we'd like to do now is um, put a, an argument uh, on this uh, component so that the um, grid and the report are filtered on the value in the argument so in order to define an argument we go to the um, page layout properties and we go ahead, ahead here and define t um, an argument and uh, our goal is to put in two arguments so that the uh, grid can be filtered on um, the current value of the customer ID in another grid and uh, then a second argument that allows us to filter the report based on the uh, state of the current customer in the grid that uh, that's going to have a button. So let's go back to the um, component builder and define our two arguments. We'll define one argument here called what customer ID and we'll set that value at runtime and we'll go here and we'll define what state which we'll also set at runtime. So here are our two arguments. Now let's go back to the builder and actually use those arguments. So this grid component is going to be filtered on the customer ID um, argument so we'll go there to filter and we'll specify that customer ID is equal to the customer ID argument value and uh, then we'll go to the uh, report and we'll say that the report is filtered on um, build state region is equal to the what state um, argument so now we've defined these uh, two arguments and if we were to uh, preview our uh, component now what we find is that there are no records in the grid because uh, we haven't set the argument value so now let's uh, go back and now let's save a page that contains this component so we'll go here and we'll say save page and I'm gonna call it page with page layout and then save it and now I'm going to go and define a, um, a grid component that's going to have a button on it and uh, when you press the button it's going to open up uh, a window showing this uh, page with the page layout component on it. So uh, let's quickly create a, uh, a new uh, uh, grid component and we'll choose a read-only DBF. Uh, we'll choose the uh, customer table. Uh, we'll choose um, first name, last name, and we'll also choose uh, city state. And then we'll go to insert a button. And now let's go and define the uh, JavaScript events for this button. So we'll add, we want to open up a web page or an A5W page. The page URL that we want is a page with page layout. So now we open up our builder and we can specify that the what customer ID parameter is going to be bound to the value of customer ID in the current field and what state is going to be bound to what state. So now let's uh, pause the video now and continue in part two.